certain martial art teachers are very good at showing charisma through aggression and charisma through profanity. And that kind of aggressive, profane charisma is very attractive toward especially men and especially young men. So you will always see impressionable youth kind of culty following an overly aggressive, profane idol or teacher. So watch out for somebody that's leading you down the wrong path. Hey guys, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. A lot of people email me all the time from my website. A lot of folks are messaging me on Snapchat and Instagram all day long. And I get one question that's recurring all the time, and it's Jake Mace, how do I find the right martial arts school? How do I find the right teacher? How do I find the right place to train? I don't want to waste my time. Well, guess what? Life is about getting in there, making mistakes, and learning from them. You can't always pick the correct person from the get-go. You gotta get out there and experience different kinds of teachers and different kinds of martial arts styles until you find the one that you love and find the teacher that you connect with. Now here are some tips from me. Number one, how dare any martial art instructors out there tell their students that the most important part of training is the form or the kata or the tao lu. It's not. Number two, how dare any martial art instructors out there tell their students that it's all about how good you can fight. Who's the best at fighting? If you can't fight, then your martial arts is bull crap. That's not true either. Number three, how dare any martial art instructors out there teach martial arts and they've let themselves go. They're not taking care of themselves. I think that martial art instructors out there should understand that the martial arts is about longevity. And what is the good of being able to defend your life if you're overweight and out of shape and if the heart attack and the diabetes and the cancer comes and gets you before the gang member does? I'll tell you guys one thing. Every martial art teacher out there likes to talk about their lineage. And our lineage is the only lineage that has roots back to da 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 da. Every martial artist says that. Everybody was the person that trained with the person that was the last one to train with Bruce Lee. Or everybody trained with that person that was the last one to train with Chen Man Ching. Or the Yang family passed on this to this person, da 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 da. Lineage is very cool. Lineage is important. And the history and the culture of your martial arts style is very important. But when it comes down to it, you gotta judge the person teaching now. The person, whether it's a man or a woman, who's teaching you in this generation, are they in good shape? Do they have a good moral compass? Do they offer you the kata or the forms and the fighting? And are they an example of what you want to turn into? Because I'm telling you, if you train with a teacher for a long time, you will become just like them. So it's not about the kata or the form. It's not about the fighting, it's about both. You've gotta have a balance of form training, of fitness training, and of practical fight training for the street. You've also gotta find a martial arts school that's affordable, that you can afford, that doesn't break your bank. And there's also one more thing to look out for. You've gotta find a martial arts school, a martial arts discipline, a martial arts teacher that is offering a belief system that will make you a better human being and give you confidence when you die. Martial arts is kind of religious in a way. It's supposed to give you a discipline and a culture and techniques and a belief system that allow you to live a better life, just like religion does. Now, I do not want you guys to join a culty martial arts school, so don't join the cult. That's very important. Always be thinking for yourself. But you wanna find that teacher and that martial arts system that gives you a belief system that's going to enhance your life. It's going to enhance your longevity. It's going to enhance your health. And when the scary times come around, it's going to make you confident and relaxed. And if you can't find that belief system, then you have to rethink who you're training with and what you're training. Because in reality, the martial arts practice we're doing now should allow us to be confident when we're by ourselves, when we're with a group, when we're having a moment of stress or a moment of confidence. We should be able to reflect and dig into our martial arts training in order to bring out the best side of us. If you guys can find that teacher, 
then congratulations, you found your Mr. Miyagi. But be very careful about this. Certain martial art teachers are very good at showing charisma through aggression and charisma through profanity. And if you guys watch the movie The Karate Kid, the greatest martial art movie ever made, The Karate Kid from the 1980s, the one with Ralph Macchio and Pat Morita. That Karate Kid movie, it showed two martial art teachers. It showed the Cobra Kai teacher and it showed Mr. Miyagi. Now, how many students did Mr. Miyagi have? He had zero and then he had one. And he reluctantly took on daniel son to be his student. How many students did the Cobra Kai teacher had? He had everybody. He had the whole village, the whole city <laughs> was training in his dojo. All the popular kids were with him. And the reason why is because profanity and aggression and that kind of aggressive, profane charisma is very attractive toward especially men and especially young men. So you will always see impressionable youth kind of culty following an overly aggressive, profane idol or teacher. So watch out for somebody that's leading you down the wrong path. Go find your Mr. Miyagi. Find the guy or the girl that's gonna teach you how to trim the bonsai trees. The person that will teach you how to heal yourself from injury using herbs. The person that knows the right thing to say for you to bring your emotions up to the next level and to bring your physical performance up to the next level. Go find the person out there that can teach you breathing exercises that incorporates real life training into the martial arts training like paint the fence, sand the floor, wax on, wax off. Go find the ultimate martial art teacher. And when you find him, train with him as long as you can. But also think for yourself because you're on this journey by yourself and nobody's here to help you but you. Believe me, you were born into this world alone. You're gonna leave this world alone. So in the end of the day, you have to be the best judge of what the right teacher and what the right martial arts system is for you. And hopefully if you guys have watched my videos over the years, you can catch a little bit of that confidence and your life is enhanced a little bit through the videos that I've been uploading here to YouTube and my online school. Thanks for watching guys. I love these talks. If you guys want to ask me a question or leave a comment down below and let me know what your teacher is like. I'm very interested and I'll see you guys on my Snapchat and Instagram.